Hello, David Kubian, Bear Woods Photography. This morning, a cold or chilly, brisk November morning here in North Georgia Mountains and Bear Woods. Um, I want to do a basic comparison of two products that I'm using, um, two pieces of gear, and just sort of give you an overview and throw it out on the table to let you make a decision as to what better suits your needs and your budget for uh, photographing landscapes pr primarily. So first, I've been using the uh, Acrotec panoramic head for a while. Um, great, I absolutely love it. Uh, very, very well made. Everything about it is very nice. Um, but a lot of times I hear it's pretty expensive. Um, me doing this for a living, I can, I'm willing to pay for the gear if it's well made, um, and it is very well made. The product that I've just begun using is the Leo Photo VH30 two-way head. Um, when you get it, it comes with the lens plate oriented this way versus this way. So um, I just did a little bit of a hack, which I'm sure I voided my warranty. Um, don't hold me responsible for telling you that it can be done. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail as to how I did it, but it was fairly easy. Um, anyhow, I've rotated it so now it's just like the panoramic head that I love to do landscapes with. It also comes with a long lens plate and it comes with a little arm that you can screw in the back. A little quarter 20 hole here just screws in then you can do some rotating if you're doing video and stuff. So I will use that but I primarily want to address it just side by side with the Acrotec head. Um, I tell people about the Acrotec head and then they get a little bit of sticker shock when they look it up online. About 500 bucks, give or take a little bit. And that's a big turnoff to a lot of folks, especially people that are just, um, you know, serious amateurs or amateurs, but they want to have that ability to do the different things. Now, when I first purchased this, I also bought the, the leveling base with it. With the leveling base, it pushes that up another hundred and something dollars. But I'm using now the Leo Photo Ranger Series LS 365 and 285 CEX tripods. They've got a leveling base built in, so I can take that off and I no longer need that. So now I just want to compare head to head. Um, and what I'm looking at is the machining on this one's very nice. It's all very precise, very well done. This one is machined very, very nicely as well. Has markings and etchings just like this one does. Um, a couple differences where well, they both also have little bubble levels down in here. This is important. Um, so in the leveling base, you can level it and use that, that level to level those out. Um, a couple similarities and a couple big differences. Knobs, uh, both of them have knobs. This one has metal, this one has rubber. Um, so on the platform itself, you can get this with a quick release head. I am not a fan of the quick release head. Um, I know it's user error, but I've seen some accidents occur with that where it's not clamped down or it's not clamped down right and a camera may fall off. Um, again, that's user error. Um, with these, they both have the Arca Swiss plate, 39 millimeter standard plate, universal. You'll notice that each of them have differences here. This is the tension adjust on this one, which is a knob. This one is a lever. Same thing on the release itself, a lever versus a knob. And on the panning one as well, it's a lever versus a knob. Um, which one is better? Um, you know, it's all up to you. But um, I, I used, I've used knobs in the past, and I'm fine with them. With this, the lever is almost a little bit easier at times, especially in the dark. You can just reach over and, and find it where it's oriented, um, not accidentally twist it. Um, what I've done to differentiate the two, the tension adjust, I have pointing down. The release I have pointing up, so I know if I'm ever reaching, which one is my tension, which one is my release. As a backup, I've also got the panning knob on the backhand side as well. So I know that if this is pointed towards me, the left-hand side is always going to be the release. Beyond that, there's not a lot of a difference. Like I said, I did do the hack that I, I was able to turn this. So if you look at doing that in the field, um, you just have to take a, a hex, hex key and, and loosen it and do it. With this one, you've got just a little bit of a knob on the bottom that releases. You pick it up, twist it, um, 
you know, very easy to do. One, one disadvantage that I hear from people is that if you've got it tightened too tight, um, it's very hard in the field to break that free. You're going to break a nail at the very least, um, if that matters to you. Um, but probably in the field, the availability and the quickness of not having to use any additional tools, I'd probably give that one a little bit of an advantage. But beyond that, there's not a lot of difference in the two. Where the big difference is, is in, in the price. And again, the value is up to you. I'm not going to spend your money. You're going to spend it. So you're the one that needs to make your mind up as to which one is a better value to you. This one is about 500, like I said, give or take a little bit. This one's about 225, give or take a little bit. So less than half the price. So it's sort of up to you. The, the things that are a little more precise on this one, um, for your budget, is it justify twice the price? I've only used this a couple times. I'm very satisfied with it. It's doing everything I need it to do. I think it's going to be fine. Um, time will tell when I get out into extreme colds. I'm sure though, I mean, because they feel the same into the metal and everything. So I don't think there's going to be a difference there. Played it with it in the dark. You know, there's, there's no disadvantage, advantage. I do like that lever a little bit easier. It's easier to find it in the dark. Um, but again, it's going to be up to you. Which, which one is the, the better value for you? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it is over twice the price for the Acrotec, but I've, I've had great success with the Acrotec. I love it. Um, and I know I'm going to love the Leo Photo one as well. Um, an advantage to me could be being able to use this arm to do some of the more fluid movements that I might want to achieve um, versus having to just simply rotate it with my fingers. So I'm going to leave that up to you. I just wanted to highlight the differences and similarities. Um, there are some, some, some big differences in the designs, in the use of knobs, levers, um, some other things, the etchings and everything. Um, but there are some similar areas. Both of them do what I want them to do. They've got a bubble level and they tilt forward and backward. If I need to change them, the orientation of the, the platform, I can. Enough said. So if you have any questions, go ahead and drop those in the comment section below. Um, I can give you my opinion, but ultimately it's going to be up to you. Um, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be doing some gear reviews as we go along, but I'm also going to be uh, starting to travel again here in the near future for the next year's workshops and everything. So we're going to get some location videos and instructional stuff done as well. Um, if you don't subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. Ring that bell to get notifications, you know, all the blah, blah, blah. Um, anyhow, David Akubian, Bear Woods Photography. Have a great day.